Joe had recently got adjusted and supposedly now his skills feel a little bit smoother than before. Also, I haven't made a Romer video in a while, so this time I got the golden chance to play this role because no one from my team wanted to roam. Somebody had to adjust and well, that would be me. I don't mind playing as the Romer as long as the team knows what they're doing. Nowadays, most players know that Joehead loves to steal the buffs at the start of the game, especially in high rank lobbies. Trying to do that will be a waste of time, and potentially just help him farm faster. What I can do is to see if I can force him to use Retribution, and then we can invade his other buff if he does that. He did use his Retribution, but my mistake was to not let our jungler know about this information. Lots of action, but not much happened yet. Their jungler had very low HP. There was a chance he was gonna continue clearing the jungle to gain his HP back. It seemed like he just recalled instead. I just learned that Lolita's shield can reflect Joe's first skill. When you play aggressively, be smart about it and not just fully commit all the time. Find the right timing and a good opening to engage. Their jungler was dead, we should take advantage of it and keep denying his farm. Remember, stealing the opponent's farm is double the game. You gain more farm while at the same time denying your opponents from it. The roamer seems to be coming this way, so I will hide for an ambush. As the roamer, you don't want to show yourself on the map all the time. Can, can get hurt? Darrow was heading this way, so I will do the same thing and hide in the bush. My allies weren't patient enough though, cause I waited till he was closer. XT Our jungler seems to be in trouble. It's better for the roamer to die than the jungler.
Even after the nerf, Kerry is still quite broken. What? Our jungler needed to escape, so I'll try to distract Dairov and make him focus on me instead. These little details matter. Maybe I could bait him to really commit. But our marksman go bait instead. XT. Maybe worth it, or at least an even trade. Our Yuson wanted to go in. We still had full HP, so this didn't seem like a bad idea to turret dive. The marksman was still behind us. All we needed was a mid shield to tank some of the turret shots. And who better to do it than the roamer? Notice how I didn't stop at all to use any skill. If I did, I would have died there. My only job was to lead the charge so my teammates would follow suit. Mages are usually the best at clearing the waves, so taking them down first when you want to push is a pretty good idea. <laughs> Carrie was hugging the second turret, we could get her as well. But unfortunately my teammates weren't really paying attention to the map. It seems like a lot of viewers have misunderstood what I meant when I said to wait for the Enhanced Lord at 12 minutes. But you should only do that when there's only a few seconds before it spawns, and only do that when your team has a huge clear advantage. Otherwise, take it as soon as the right opportunity arises. As you can see, we clearly didn't have such a huge advantage, so we definitely should have taken the lord when we had the chance. I might need to save our jungler again. Oh no, he came back instead. It's 3v5, we definitely shouldn't take the fight here. Okay. 
If we can catch their marksmen first, we can easily win the fight. Well, that was our golden opportunity. They got the lore and super minions. We should defend for now. Don't make your movement too obvious. Nana just one shot at our marksman. Our late game doesn't seem too right. At least there's a chance if we can keep making plays like this when they get too cocky. The next lore is gonna be crucial. Even though this might seem obvious, but sometimes you just need to remind your team about the most obvious things. Not too bad. We got three of them and nobody died from our side. Our marksmen tend to be out of position quite often. Well, we just wasted our lord. Actually, it would be a worthy trade if you could take down at least one of their inhibitors. Doesn't matter if I die, because my allies are about to respawn and there's no lore for them to take. Interesting rainbow style.
My team wanted to get their Benedetta, but if they all go now, they will use that chance to take the Lord for free. 100% not worth it. Remember, when you play against Benedetta, don't go where she is, but where you think she might dash to. This was a pretty close game and we had to make some decisive plays here and there to ensure this victory. One thing that you gotta remember is that you don't want to fully commit all the time as a roamer. You gotta take into consideration your allies positioning as well at all times. Anyway, that's all for now, thanks for watching and see ya.